So the Halo community is back at it again. Here, come with me. I'll, I'll show you what's going on. So there's been quite a bit of drama going on right now when it comes to the Halo community. And even the community director himself, Sketch, had to come out here and say something about it. Basically, the whole thing is that like saying that YouTubers and content creators are getting paid by Halo. Uh, so basically, if you ever see that, just think of this right here saying PSA, outside of people like myself, Unishek, and other employees of 343, nobody out here is paid to hype up Halo. Please don't attack and accuse people in this community just for enjoying something you may not agree with. Thank you. And as a content creator and somebody who did have some early access when it comes to Halo, as part of the pilot program, got to play Halo Infinite a little bit early, none of us were paid for this whole thing. Sometimes people actually like things that some people don't like. It's crazy to think about that. I know the internet has been really hard on people trying to get, tell people that you should not be liking Halo Infinite, uh, but myself included as well as many others, I genuinely enjoy playing the game. I just feel like oftentimes the community gets kind of caught up when it comes to just like some things are just not perfect about Halo in some way. Like yeah, Halo Infinite's not in the best state of a Halo game could possibly be. We have 20 years of history behind Halo to know what the potential is for this game. But honestly, for the launch that we had right now compared to like other games out there, still rather content rich. Like think for example, Call of Duty, it's known for its multiplayer and campaign. I mean, some people do custom games, but not really. It's also known for Warzone, which is one mode, but of course they have variations of those modes as well, but one mode that they have to consider. Other games like Fortnite, one mode. That's all you gotta really worry about for the most part. And also Apex Legends, like yeah, you got some other variations mixed in there, but basically you're there for the battle royale and everything else just kind of like a nice addition with halo it's a little bit of everything which is one of the reasons why i love the franchise so much because there's so many ways to enjoy it with the halo infinite's launch it feels a little bit limited than we're used to but i genuinely enjoy playing the game that's why i stream it every tuesday and thursday night it's why i'm making like daily videos something about halo because I genuinely enjoyed this franchise, enjoy playing the game, and I want to share that love with all you guys out there. And in my reply to Sketch for this, it's just this nice meme of just being shh, let people enjoy things. And I feel like that's a lot of times just the internet as a whole needs to actually take in consideration that you know what? Sometimes people are just going to like things that you might not like, and that's totally fine. It's totally fine. You don't need to be going around the internet and being like telling people like why you should not be enjoying the thing that other people enjoys. But yeah, this is not just a Halo thing. It's also just a gaming community thing as a whole. A lot of people want to like feel like they're doing some armchair activism and just trying to put the word out there like, no, you shouldn't play Halo Infinite to prove them wrong and stuff like that. Like, well, what you're really doing is actually trying to kill the game to where your favorite thing might not exist anymore. But let people play the game. Let them have fun. And with content creators, the reason why they're playing it is because they actually enjoy the game. I've seen plenty of content creators out there who have just completely stopped playing Halo or have actually started branching out to other types of content, playing different games and things like that because if they're not passionate about it, they're not gonna be making content about it. The people are still making videos about Halo because they wanna make videos about Halo. Because if you want to make money on YouTube and Twitch, playing Halo is not it. Like the most subscribed content creators here on YouTube are like Halo follower with like 700 some odd th followers and like you had Hidden Xperia with like 500, 600,000, I can't remember exactly. That's the limit right there. Other games out there have multi-million follower channels for their content for those games. So the audience is definitely there for other games. If people were getting paid, if content creators really wanted to get paid, they wouldn't be making Halo content. And an absolutely amazing announcement, G2, one of the partner teams for HCS for Halo, just got a huge update as the Halo manager for the organization is now going to be Ogre One. Yes, the absolute legend himself within the com competitive Halo is going to be part of the competitive Halo scene again, but more of a back the stage kind of managerial position rather than an actual player. Which this guy has like 30 plus tournament wins, like an absolute legend. So when you got someone like that, guiding the ship when it comes to content and also the game itself. Yeah, it's pretty awesome to have that guy on your team. Really cool to see a legend like Ogre One come back into Halo. We'll see how it affects G2 Esports moving forward. And some other Xbox related news on the Xbox Era podcast here hosted by Colt Eastwood. He goes in to talking with a person who has some insider information about a certain project on the Microsoft things that could see some form of a collection of some sorts. And basically the internet has already found out that he was talking about a Gears of War collection 
coming to the Xbox, which would be really freaking awesome. Like we do have Gears of War 1 that's been remastered completely, uh, but Gears 2 and 3 have been kind of left alone to themselves. Now, if you kind of combine them all together, probably do like a 4K 60 resolution update when it comes to this, we could see something like that happening. I don't know if we will see a completely like remade version of Gears 2 and 3, even though the rumors are that it's gonna get a Master Chief collection like service when it comes to this collection of games right here. Which Master Chief Collection, Halo 2 Anniversary had you know, a completely remastered campaign for Halo 2 and also some visuals for the multiplayer as well. Uh, but left the, the rest of the game just kind of like, you know, upscaled resolution kind of stuff i'm assuming we'll probably get something very similar when it comes to gears of war this is just one of those rumors that's going around right now as we're kind of in the leak season right now because we're going right into june which is going to be the big announcements for gaming just for the entire year so we're going to get a lot of these leaks and information i'll definitely be releasing the information for you guys here on the channel as soon as we get it it's something interesting to talk about now there is a new season with apex legends that just released out but the apex mobile platform just released last this week actually which is really awesome Awesome. But the reason why I'm bringing this up because with the mobile platform, it has its own dedicated new legend that's not on any other platform. And that legend being Fade right here, as you can see the character model of him looking pretty dang badass. And if you want to know his abilities here, he has the passive of Slipstream saying Fade gains a short movement speed boost at the end of his slide, which sliding is very important when it comes to the movement in Apex Legends. Uh, tactical flashback saying Fade's suit rips him backwards through another dimension, facing him to the previous location. So basically just like a control Z kind of option right there, which is kind of cool. This one right here for the entire team is a really cool option saying Fade's chamber, saying Fade throws an activator core from his suit. The resulting explosion phases everyone within a radius, a few seconds, making them unable to deal damage or also receive damage. So that's a really cool character. Now the reason why I'm bringing it up because you never know if there's enough enough requests for this character to be added into the full game. We could potentially see it. Maybe it's like a limited time kind of exclusive character. That's why like they want to get people to jump on the mobile side of things when it comes to Apex Legends. I just think it's crazy that they're still able to come up with new heroes so often within the game and have them be interesting characters to play. If you had a chance to play Apex Legends on mobile, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to see how it plays out. I remember that really cool like party game that happened like back in like summer 2018, right? Well, it's back. Fall Guys is free to play on June 21st. I think this is gonna be a huge boost to player base right here, but it's also gonna be free to play on PlayStation, Nintendo, Switch, Xbox, and other platforms as well. So guys, definitely wanna check this out. If you guys haven't dropped in and played any of uh, Fall Guys, I mean, I've only seen streams. I've actually, actually never played the game, but since it's gonna be free to play on Xbox, well, I certainly would be willing to give it a play for sure. It just looks like a fun kind of battle royale like kind of Mario Party combo kind of thing. Uh, if you got some friends who want to jump in and play, I think this is the perfect game to kind of just casually jump in and have some fun. But if you're new to the channel, missing any content from recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.